Good day, Bambies! Collider here, and welcome back to another Tiny Homes video in The Sims 4. So, today we are creating a two story little shack. So, this is actually going to be one of my smaller ones that I've created in quite some time. I really feel like my builds in this series have been getting slightly bigger each round <laughs> and that is totally like by mistake did not mean to do that I just get a little bit more ambitious each time so I kind of wanted to get back to my roots and make something a bit more smaller but something two-story because I really like working with that sort of aspect especially if there's sort of a semi loft and this time we have the staircase outside so it's kind of reminiscent of our boathouse that we did a while ago and I really like the style of this one it's very rustic chic and simple you know I didn't want it to be too high end this one and Definitely a young couple would live here, I reckon anyways, which is kind of inspired by a video that I watched a while ago of a girl who actually lives in Auckland in New Zealand. And I just remember her talking about living in a tiny home and actually was a caravan and saying how much money she could save and she could go overseas and go and explore the world and she didn't have to worry about paying off a house like majority of her friends from high school were worrying about rent or paying off a mortgage while well, she had this really lovely little caravan and she was able to travel the world so I wanted to make something a little bit more permanent than a caravan this is definitely meant to be a trailer home that has definitely been pimped out. Oh my gosh, yes. But it's not exactly like luxurious. It is kind of, but I didn't use like the best of the best stuff. Uh, it's just very like well chosen things. I think the people who, the couple who live here or own this trailer definitely have a sense of style. So everything that they bought not necessarily as expensive but is worth it and just a nice style so <laughs> i'm doing the inside now and i went for a aqua or blue light blue with light woods and white which seems to be the three colors like the color scheme that i adore so apparently in the future when I get to decorate my own house, well, I already have an apartment, but if I ever get my own trailer or something, apparently I need to use this color scheme because it's like the most natural one for me to go from. And I really love it in this one because it kind of goes with a bit of a beachy sense. And I guess a lot of my builds are also like that because I don't know, I'm not actually from a beach town or anything, but I feel like I've always been a bit of a sunny person. I've always liked water, not necessarily being in water, but around water. So I guess that's where those sort of notions come from. <laughs> but it's, yeah, it's meant to be a little bit more beachy, laid back and not exactly high end like I was saying before, but well chosen, everything's just obviously the people who live here have a good sense for style. So I really like the little decking that I have at the top here. I just love decks. I think everyone should have a deck, including myself. I have a balcony right now, which isn't the best. Like, I hate it when balconies are tiled. I don't know why. I just like wood, like planks because in the sun it warms up while tiles, yeah, they might warm up, but they go cold really fast. Like the shade hits it for like 10 minutes and then it's cold again. So I don't really like tiled balconies or um, patios or whatever. I like planks. So if you guys see that I'm always using wooden floors, that is why, because I just like wooden floors much more than tiled or concrete. Although the Airbnb that we uh, visited on the weekend was really nice. It had polished concrete floors and ceiling. Uh, the ceiling wasn't polished, but everything was concrete and it was a really cool texture of the floor. It had like little grains in it. 
But the only thing that I noticed, and this is going with what I was saying with the balcony being cold, it was freezing and I just don't understand like yeah it looks cool but we're in Melbourne like down the bottom of Australia one of the coldest places here and you have a concrete floor like I can understand up in Brisbane or maybe in Perth having a concrete floor but oh man it was so freezing and I would never probably ever get that sort of flooring unless you had like in floor heating that's just my opinion i don't know if you're on like bali or somewhere like really tropical and humid all the time maybe it would be worth it but yeah anyways it looks nice but in this house we have planks throughout the whole thing because i think they look really nice this one looks like it's kind of natural probably a really light varnish i've never renovated a house in my life so i have no idea what kind of textures or sort of finishes they would put on different timbers but I'm guessing it's a bit of like I don't know like a sandal wood or something like that like a lighter wood um, but anyways I really like that color and it really makes the blue and the aquas pop and yeah it just really complements the colors going on here and I really want it to look not too overdone in here, a bit of a homely space. So we have a little reading area there, a tiny little TV, uh, the stools there, which also act as an entertainment and also a dining space. The kitchen is actually quite open. I was going to have some toys in there, but then I decided to get rid of anything to do with kids because I decided to go with the idea of it being a young couple. No idea where they got all of the money to do all of this, but they're traveling the world. And yeah, maybe, maybe the reason why I always go with that sort of ideas because this is sort of what I want to do in my near future. But yeah, anyways, I thought to kind of give off the sense of them traveling a lot, they're of course going to have a bunch of souvenirs. So I thought photographs, maybe one of them is a famous photographer. So I decided let's go and put some paintings and things around and just pretend that they are photographs. Let's just pretend, okay? And I add a lot more later on, trust me. And it looks pretty cool, I like it. And a little area there where they can put in all of their bits and pieces, all of their important stuff. I don't know, passports, etc. I'm really surprised with how open the kitchen ended up being. I think you could kind of turn that space into a little bit more. Maybe they could pull out a mattress. I reckon that couch that we have there would be a fold out lounge. So maybe they could move the pot plants, fold that out. And maybe they have like somewhere up in storage, another mattress and you could lay that out in the kitchen there, there's just so much room there, maybe to exercise, to do yoga, whatever you wanna do, meditate. And now we are working on the bathroom. So I really like a lot of the stuff that we have from Parenthood. I talked and raved about it in other videos, but I did plan on using some of them in this build. I used the mirror, I conjoined some of the items to make that sink. I really like the laundry thing. The th thing I really like about tiny homes is that people have to really think about how they use space. So I thought, well, we have this room, little bit of room underneath the sink. Why not put the laundry basket under there and it just rolls out. So decided that would look cool and it ended up looking all right too. And I just have a whole bunch of little cupboards here and there. And that's also why I really like that bookcase that I have there in the corner, because it kind of looks like it has some storage boxes a part of it. So yeah, now we're just adding a whole bunch of paintings and things around the place. It's looking very cluttered, but I love it. I think it looks awesome. I'm so finicky when it comes to these things, but I finally was pretty happy with it all. Now we're going to work on the upstairs, which is a very relaxed area. So I did change a lot of the walls to be more of a mint color, but there are some walls that are still left with the white. It's very cool and relaxed. Instead of normal railing, I thought the glass looked a lot sleeker, so, and a lot more modern too, so I was really happy with that choice. 
and it's very blue up here actually. I really like that about The Sims though. It doesn't have to be totally realistic. Like in real life, blue and mints aren't really my favorite to do with decorating, interior design, just because to me, I feel like natural light bounces off it and makes the room feel cold. But in The Sims, it doesn't really bother our Sims at all. So <laughs> I really like kind of experimenting with colors that I usually wouldn't even touch when it comes to in real life. Um, but in saying that, ever since playing around with The Sims, I've sort of broadened my color scheme when it comes to buying stuff in real life. Like I have a rainbow rug, guys. Like that's pretty different. Most people would just buy a cream rug, maybe a black one. Black's really bad for rugs though, because like every speck of dirt and hair will show up on that rug. But a cream one is like pretty all right. Uh, maybe brown, maybe brown. Sometimes people get brown, but same deal. Hair and stuff will show up on it. While I think cream is easier to vacuum. I don't know. I don't know about these things, but it's very chill up here. I feel like it's a little bit of a sanctuary in this room. It just feels so relaxed. Of course, we had to add some fairy lights. The couple who live here are quite young, so we have the cute little teddy bear there. Um, maybe the lady, she, I don't know, she was hanging on to her childhood teddy, and I just thought that would be a cute little memento. And fairy lights because it's very youthful, very pretty. I was going to add a car, but then I decided it would be much better if they were like permanently parked somewhere. So their house was on a plot of land somewhere, but they maybe had sold their car and instead they're traveling with that money. I don't know. I don't know, but I just think it was a cool idea and the car just didn't really work out, all right? Now we're just doing the outside area and adding some things here and there, you know, technology, also a workbench. I really like the idea of creating your own things. So I haven't really used this workbench in The Sims yet with my Sims. I actually have not made anything with that workbench. Oh my gosh, I am the worst Simmer ever, <laughs> but I thought it would be really cool, sort of nod to them creating their own stuff and maybe even building this place themselves. So I'm not sure if they did it entirely themselves, maybe they helped design it. But yeah, oh, by the way, I really like the windows that I used in this build. I forgot to mention that, but it's kind of like a mix of reclaimed wood and also concrete tile and brand new window frames so obviously the sims who own this place tried to save as much money as possible so cost effectively i think the brand new sort of metal frames were the best idea for them anyways mixed with concrete and reclaimed wood just has a really cool different mix i think and not a lot of people do that with actual houses they kind of just go with all one direction but yeah i think it really comes together quite well and it has character too the outside is very washed out and i really really was liking it especially with these pot plants but i decided to move them over to the desert so we are now at oasis springs and doesn't this look a lot nicer it really fits the scene and it, it does. Oh my gosh, I really like it. And the thatched roof too. Oh my gosh, guys. Did I just remember that word? I've forgotten it two videos in a row now. And now I finally learned the word. The word is thatched. Oh my gosh, we can all calm down now. Kaleido has remembered a word. Oh my goodness. Uh, so I was going to call this place the Sandy Shack at first, but I thought let's go with the two-story shack because that's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna stop now, but yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed this sweet little build It'll be on the gallery for you all and yeah, I hope you all have a fantastic day I love you all to bits and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye